Today we are going to talk about self-confidence. 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 What is confidence? What is self-confidence? That a man is sure within himself without looking or desiring or needing the approval of outsider. The man is totally convinced within himself self-confidence remember to subscribe to my channel so that you can be receiving all the updates god bless you some people think that you don't supposed to trust yourself i want you to understand what self-confidence is all about self-confidence a man that is not confident within himself cannot overcome the challenges of life a man that is not self-confidence enough a man that know within himself that he is somebody do you know that you are somebody in as much as you may not have the material things some of the things you think that make you somebody but i want you to know i want you to know you are somebody because God created man and put everything that will make that man great inside him. Your greatness is not outside, is inside. Hear me once again. Your greatness is not outside, it is inside. It is from inside out. That is inside out, not outside in. Your greatness is inside you. Your greatness is lying within you. It is what the Lord deposits in your spirit, what the Lord deposits in your life that will attract those things you call greatness. Your greatness is inside you. Self-confidence. Self-confidence. You need self-confidence. You need self-confidence in your life. Sometimes you say, oh, oh, that is pride. Let us see the life of many people. The Bible makes us to understand in the book of Philippians, Apostle Paul said, I can do all things through Christ that strengthened me. That is a man that trusts God, that believes God, and also believe in himself that he will achieve greatness. He said, I can do all things through Christ that strengthened me. Look at what the Bible began to tell us, look at all the people in the Bible, people that have self-confidence. Uh, the Bible told us about a man called David. David came back from war and uh, uh, the uh, enemy had made away with his wives. And David was crying, looking for somebody to tell him sorry, somebody to comfort him, somebody co to console him. And the Bible said that all men, everyone carry stone to stone David. And David now encouraged himself in the Lord. David encouraged himself in the Lord. He had that self-confidence inside him. That confidence came upon him. Self-confidence. And that was a time David didn't know, oh, I can recover this. I can recover. He began to think, what will I do to recover this? Self-confidence. I said it in one of my videos that everyone is great. But the problem is that only few discover the area of their greatness. Only few discover their purpose. Only few discover what God sent them in the world to do. That is why I advise you to find that video. Self-confidence, you need it. You need to be courageous. Courageous. Because without being courageous, you cannot face the fire of life. But let me tell you, no matter any problem you are passing through now, no matter all your challenges, no matter what you are seeing in your life right now, I am praying to God Almighty that the Lord will give you wisdom how to overcome. Because there is something inside you greater than your challenges. There is something inside you greater than your problem. There is something lies inside you, within you, greater than your affliction, greater than your poverty. There is something inside you, the Lord put there, so that through it you will become somebody in life. Check all the people you are looking up to. You discover that these ones, in one particular time, there was a time they were, you were better than them. There is no parents that have child that would like their child, that child to be doing like a moron. 
and no parents is happy when their child or when their children is behave, are behaving like moron behaving like an imbecile a man without wisdom no, no parents enjoy that kind of child but every parent is happy to see their son that is that that trusts him that believes himself that that like to do things by himself every parent would love that child that have self-confidence within him even me i love my children they have self-confidence within them god is not happy to see you behaving as if you are a slave god is not happy to see you living as if without other people by your side you will not succeed you have to have self-confidence within you you need self-confidence because sometimes what you are doing right now may not be working well it is that inner knowing it is that inner confidence in you that will make you to remain and to continue and, and become persistent and consistent in that thing you are doing which god almighty will make to, to to jack up god will make it to come back to life and it will begin to flourish what make many people to quit right now what make many people to quit several times is because they don't have self-confidence in them they think that when they start business or when they start anything new that thing begin to flourish and when they start things new and it's not flourishing the way they think they say oh there is no need of doing it there is no need of trusting god there is no need of trying but see a man that have self-confidence Micah said, do not laugh at me, O my enemy, because when I fall down, I shall rise. Even though I walk in, dark, in darkness, the Lord shall be my light. Micah had self-confidence within him. And today the Lord is challenging you. The Lord is challenging you that is hearing this word, because this word is for you. The Lord is challenging you today to have self-confidence. You need self-confidence in that thing you are doing. You need self-confidence. You need to believe God and believe yourself. You need to be courageous enough. Be courageous enough because I told you no one is ready to pity you in life. Life gives no man chance. And I discover, as I said in many of my videos, that men like men are selfish in nature. Human beings are selfish in nature. Nobody wants to help you more than himself. No, nobody wants you to be better than himself. And that is why you have to come to a stage. You have to trust God and also trust yourself. You have to have that self-confidence within you. Stop allowing everybody to pity you. Stop allowing everybody to, 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 uh, to show you mercy. Stop allowing everybody to give approval of your life. You have to rise up and take up your destiny by yourself. The Lord bless you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also follow my Facebook page. The blessings of God rest upon you.